the 2021 Miami Dolphins had a roster packed with accomplished veterans and promising young players. With this being the third year of a complete rebuild, that was a really good sign. It also meant that several players had to compete for their roster spot. Some players performed well, but still fell victim to the numbers game. Others had such impressive training camps that they forced the front office to make room for them on the active roster. Let's celebrate some of these players that started training camp on the bubble, that through hard work and determination, forced their way onto the 2021 Miami Dolphins. 5. Robert Jones, guard. It wasn't like the Miami Dolphins came into camp with the deepest of offensive lines, but Robert Jones making this 53-man roster is still impressive. Jones is an undrafted free agent out of Middle Tennessee State. Coming out of Rockford East High School, he was a zero-star recruit and had to play two seasons at Kansas's Highland Community College before transferring to Middle Tennessee State as a two-star JUCO transfer. Speaking of high school ball, Jones didn't start playing football until he was a junior. So six years ago he first walked onto a football field, and he just made the 53-man roster of an NFL football team one that will be competing for a playoff spot this season. Playing at a smaller school meant that Jones' performance at the Reese's Senior Bowl would weigh heavily into his draft stock. This seems to be a developing trend, but Jones made the most of that opportunity too. The pressure is really on because you don't get many chances to show them what you can do, but I did well in the practices, and the interviews went great. I was just being myself. They wanted to know my story, and I gave it to them. As one of the coaches at the Senior Bowl, Brian Flores got a close look at Jones. When the rookie went undrafted, Miami swooped in to sign him with an offer that included $130,000 guaranteed, which far exceeds the average guaranteed money given to undrafted players. While it may look simple, offensive line is a difficult position to master especially for young and inexperienced players. Jones got off to a rocky start, struggling mightily in his first preseason game against the Chicago Bears. He followed that up with two stellar performances against Atlanta and Cincinnati. When it was all said and done, Robert Jones was one of Miami's best offensive linemen this preseason. He's still young and inexperienced, but the fact that Brian Flores trusts him as one of the primary backups on the interior speaks volumes about his progress. It isn't likely that he'll start too many games this season, but Jones could be a key member of this offensive line for years to come. 4. Salvan Ahmed, running back. Ahmed was a guy that got lost in the excitement of the offseason. Fans get so worked up about adding new players, that they forget about the standouts already on their team. Make no mistake, Ahmed was a standout in 2020 and this training camp preseason only cemented that fact. As many of you know, Ahmed was Miles Gaskin's backup at Washington. He was given the reins after Gaskin joined the Dolphins in 2019 and had a strong junior year prior to declaring for the draft. Ahmed's biggest asset always was, and still is, his speed. That's why it was so shocking when he turned in such a poor combine performance. His 4.6240 yard dash was a full point three seconds slower than his previous best, 4.32. Ahmed was a smaller back with questionable vision who just ran a 4.6 the NFL isn't going to take a risk on that. Ahmed went undrafted, but was signed by the 49ers. When San Francisco cut him, Miami swooped in to sign him. Ahmed would go on to lead all Dolphins backs in yards per attempt and turn in a few impressive performances. The most notable of those performances came against New England when he logged 23 carries for 122 yards. Coming into camp, Ahmed wasn't seen as a lock to make this roster. They went out and signed Malcolm Brown and drafted Garrett Dokes. Gaskin and Brown were likely the only players safe on the roster. That left Patrick Laid, Garrett Dokes, Jordan Scarlett, and Ahmed competing for the remaining spot. By the time we reached final cut day, it was a foregone conclusion that Ahmed was going to be making the team. He showed vast improvement as a receiver and had the most impressive training camp of any Miami running back. We are likely to see something close to a true running back by committee approach in Miami this season, so Ahmed is going to have ample opportunities to make plays in 2021 especially in the passing game. Look for him to further cement his place on this offense and team. 3. Trill Williams, Defensive Back Prior to the beginning of training camp, I wrote an article highlighting some lesser-known players that could have breakout training camps. 
Of the three players I chose to highlight, Trill Williams was the one that actually managed to stick on Miami's roster. Williams had been a key contributor at Syracuse since his freshman season in 2018. He played primarily from the slot his last two years at Syracuse, but his length and athleticism will play better from the boundary at the pro level. The draft community was understandably surprised when Williams went unselected in the 2021 NFL Draft. This was partly due to an ankle injury that cut his junior season short. He was signed by New Orleans as an undrafted free agent, but they waived him due to a failed physical. Before they could resign him, Miami swooped in to claim him off the waiver wire. Williams is still a bit raw at this point in his career, but he is an explosive athlete and a big play just waiting to happen. He is the perfect player to have sit and learn for a season behind established veterans Xavier Howard and Byron Jones. This training camp and preseason Williams has impressed the coaching staff and forced his way onto the field. He hasn't been a dominant player, but also hasn't looked overmatched at any time which is a great sign for an undrafted free agent. His knack for big plays has also translated to an NFL field. Like Miami's other undrafted free agent Robert Jones, Williams isn't likely to step in immediately. Though his presence on this roster could have major implications for the future of Miami's secondary. 2. Sam Egavoen, Linebackers If you had told someone prior to training camp that Sam Egavoen would make the 53-man roster over former Pro Bowl linebacker Bernardrick McKinney, they would probably think you're crazy. But as we know, the NFL can be surprising. Egavoen was undrafted coming out of Texas Tech in 2015 and chose to pursue a career in the Canadian Football League from 2016 to 2019. As a standout on the Saskatchewan Roughriders, Egavoen garnered some NFL attention and eventually signed with Miami in 2019. Linebacker isn't Miami's deepest position group, but Egavoen still came into this offseason in a precarious position. He was one of the many free agent additions from Miami's 2019 tank season who saw extended playing time, but Miami has come a long way since that 2019 season. Egavoen has a fairly versatile skill set and splits his time between off ball linebacker and edge defender. He isn't particularly adept at run or pass defense, but is capable in both areas. This versatility is likely what secured him a roster spot. No one will argue that Egavoen is a better run defender than Bernardrick McKinney, but his ability in pass coverage means he can be used on all three downs. The two down linebacker is going the way of the dodo. Sam Egavoen was a star for the Miami Dolphins this preseason, leading the team in sacks while registering them all in one game, against Atlanta. He has always been a plus athlete, but Egavoen looked more explosive and comfortable this preseason. Again, Miami isn't particularly deep at off-ball linebacker or edge defender. That could mean Sam Egavoen is in for an extended workload this upcoming season. You don't see it very often, but this Canadian Football League standout may be in line for a breakout season at 28 years of age stay tuned. 1. Mac Hollins, Wide Receiver Mac Hollins has clearly been a favorite of coaches in Miami, but he was far from a lock to make the team. Up until now he's been an average receiver and while Hollins is a valuable special teams contributor, why do you think they signed Robert Foster, another special teams standout, so early into free agency? One of the Miami Dolphins' key missions this offseason was to improve the receiving core. Adding Will Fuller and Jalen Waddell while getting Preston Williams and Albert Wilson back have made a huge difference, but don't overlook the growth of Mac Hollins. In their second preseason game against Atlanta, the Dolphins played without the services of Albert Wilson, Will Fuller v. Lynn Bowden Jr., Devontae Parker, and Preston Williams, you know, their top three, arguably four, targets. We all remember what happened when that receiving core was depleted last year. The receivers couldn't get open, the offensive line struggled to hold up, and Tua was under duress a lot. Some fans may have expected a similar showing against Atlanta, but that wasn't the case. Tua moved the offense down the field, players were open, and he was decisive. We shouldn't lose sight of the fact that Atlanta had many of their backups on the field, but they still looked good. Hollins was Tua's favorite target on the day and the Dolphins' leading receiver. He had such a good performance that he got the day off in Cincinnati the following week. Like many of the other players on this list, Mac Hollins isn't likely to get a huge portion of the target share in Miami, but he provides valuable depth. 
let's face it, Miami's receivers aren't known for staying healthy and an improved Mac Hollins could end up being very valuable later on in the season when bumps and bruises start to pile up. Final thoughts. Like I've said before, the preseason is all about seizing opportunities. Every year there are spots on an NFL roster that are up for grabs. Someone has to go get them and these were five players that stepped up to the plate. Now, let's see if they can parlay these hot starts into regular season success.